Okay, so we are alternating throughout this movement between 5-4 time and 6-4 time. At first it alternates measures, and then it will become mostly in 6-4. Okay, so here we go. Right hand, or more the key of B flat, yep. obviously, which you yep. know. Okay, so. Two, one, four. Two, five, three. And then again, pop down four, five, two, one. And I'll play it without talking just so you can follow along and imagine the fingerings. Pop. Pop. Measures three and four, right hand alone. One, two, five. One, two, five again. One, two, five again. Okay, then I'm going to go to one, four, five, and then pop up to five on the F that's up a fourth. And you play that F by popping back downwards to one, two, five. Okay, that's our measure of five, four. Now we pop downwards from this. Okay, to one, four, five. So it's a repeat of what we just did again. Mm -hmm. Pop up, pop down. But we're gonna land on a different chord now. First time we went, um, D minor, right? Right. This time we're landing on B flat. flat. Uh huh. With one, three, five. We're going to pop downward from that. G minor. One, two, four. Or C major, which is so cool. Yeah. One, two, five. Pop down to octave G with a C in the middle. One, two, five, and then contract. One, two, five. And I will just play measures three and four so you can follow along. One, two, ready, play. Measures three and four with the left hand. Obviously five and one. And you can do four and one for the next one. And then back to five and one, and then head downward, five and one. So we're moving with the arm, we're popping downward. A little pop, then a third, then up to the F's again. Okay, we're gonna pop up to B flat, down to G, down a fifth, up a third, up a second. And happily, the left hand's gonna be really easy on this whole piece because it's mostly octaves. I'll play again just so you can listen. One, two, three, ready, Play. Measures three and four with the hands together. One, two, ready. Oops, that would have been four. One, <laughs> two, three. Ready, play.
measures five through eight with the right hand alone. Okay, so we're starting with three. Four, one. Three, four, one. Three, four, two. Then we're going to play this F by popping up to F octaves. So you're going to replace two with thumb and double it at the top. One and five, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and you're playing F with your thumb throughout this me measure. Um, that's five and one and five, and then one and four, three, one. It lies very nicely under the hand. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going back to three, four, one, just like before. Three, four. This time we go to two on E flat. It was C the first time. Yeah. Okay. You're playing that by popping up and landing three on B flat. So you're going from the black key on the right in a group of two to the black key on the right in a group of three. And here we are. Three, four. That was a surprise, wasn't it? Yeah. One and two. And we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're popping up to A flat octaves. So we're place this two with thumb and double it. Five and one again, and then, or one and five, I should say, and then one and four, three, thumb. Okay, so same pattern, new mm -hmm. key. I will play all that. One, two, three, ready, play. Okay, measures um, five through eight with the left hand alone. Nothing happens in the left hand in measure five, so we'll move on to measure six, which is in six four time. One, two, three, four, ready, play. So we go rest, rest, come in on F octaves, and I'm not gonna give you fingerings, because obviously, Obvious. They're obvious, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Measures five through eight with the hands together. One, two, three, ready, play. One, two, three, ready, play.